Ladies and gentlemen, on the Shred Gaming Tentacom video, the PlayStation 4's API can go down to the metal, apparently, at least according to Wolfgang Engel. So, I wasn't initially going to cover this, but several people on Facebook basically wrote to me and posted me this news story and asked my opinions. And I suppose, if nothing else, it's a summarization of what uh, we've discussed several times over. So, I'm going to read you out the quotes before. Wolfgang Engel, by the way, just to, to let you know his credentials, is the founder of Confetti FX. So anyway, he said Sony's own custom API is a more low level and definitely something that graphics programmers love. It gives you a lot of control. The X12 would be a bit more abstract because it has to work with many different GPUs, while the PS4 API can go down to the metal. Meanwhile, one uh, while he was at the GDC booth uh, this year, he said... Um, in regards to optimization methods applicable on the PS4, yes, there will be other PS4 specific optimizations not available for the PC, and that will improve, increase performance even more. Now, in case you're not exactly sure what he means by this, he's referring to compute shade optimizations because there are multiple different GPUs um, inside the Radeon range, and the Radeons, by the way, are available for, of course, the PS4. Uh, it's using the GCN architecture and so on. So what are my thoughts and opinions on this? Well, this is going to be like a super technical video unlike a lot of mine because honestly speaking, I think most of this is fairly evident. The fact of the matter is DirectX 12 isn't going to be able to go as low level as the PlayStation 4 because at the end of the day, it's running on a wider set of hardware. Microsoft have acknowledged this uh, in regards to DX12 for the PC and even AMD have mentioned pretty similar for Mantle because it has to rely on a wide variety of different uh, GPUs. Now, you've got to remember, however, in the perspective of Mantle, it's going to be interesting to see how that turns out versus DX12, because theoretically, and once again, theory is not necessarily indicative of actual real-world performance, theoretically, Mantle should slightly outperform DX12. Why? Because at the end of the day, Mantle is targeting a smaller subset of GPUs than what DX12 is. In other words, DX12 is going to be for Intel, it's going to be for AMD, and it's going to have to run NVIDIA, where on the other hand, Mantle can be primarily focused on, say, the GCN architecture. With all of that said, there are definitely some parts of the PS4's API that remain to be somewhat mysterious to us. However, what we do know is it does have specific additions, primarily in reserves to the, in regards, I'm sorry, to the compute shaders. And it's also had quite a lot of work done with, for example, the level 2 cache on the GPU, for example, volatile bit. And these optimizations can definitely be utilized to improve performance. With that said, I don't really feel that the grand scheme of things is going to be changing. Um, yes, it means that the PS4 does have access to a few more optimizations, but even so, a, you know, a high to very powerful PC is easily going to be able to out, uh, outperform it still, particularly with DX12, because one of the primary issues at the moment with PCs is quite simply put, well, the CPU is pretty much running all the rendering on one thread. That's basically the issue. And so a lot of the times you can get um, draw call uh, limitations, which is something that DX12 is going to improve as well as low level access as a whole, which is obviously going to bring a slew of other improvements. In regards to the PS4 versus the Xbox One, it remains to be seen just how much of an improvement DX12 is going to be bought, uh, bringing to the Xbox One. Um, Phil Spencer recently said, hey, you know what, it's going to make a difference. But it's not going to be like this gargantuan huge improvement. We're not going to be seeing like 50% extra performance. He's, he said that himself and we've covered it on the channel. So what I personally think is that this is going to be pretty much business as usual for everyone involved. Smaller studios are likely not going to bother with the optimization. They're probably going to be using the higher level language simply because it's just not required. Their games just simply don't require the power. And obviously... Larger games, or should I say larger um, productions, for example, AAA titles, are definitely going to require more optimization because, well, quite simply put, their graphics are better. Remember that low-level optimization on consoles exists for one reason, because the hardware is fixed. And so because of that, it allows you to get much more out of limited hardware, but at the end of the day, the hardware is still limited. An example of this 
it's a fairly old one, but it withstands the test of time, would undoubtedly be the PlayStation 3. Look at the launch titles of the PS3, compare them to, say, The Last of Us. No one can argue that The Last of Us looks as good as, say, the launch titles of the PS4, or a high-spec PC at the time. It just doesn't, but it does look a hell of a lot better than what the launch titles do. So The Last of Us... The Last of Us? The Last of Us. Sorry guys, I've got a bit of frog in my throat. I'm suffering quite badly at the moment from hay fever, in case you're wondering my voice is breaking. But The Last of Us definitely was a large improvement. But at the end of the day, if the hardware was better, they could have gotten more out of the system. However, with all of that said, the PS4 definitely has a lot of room in the tank for optimization. Simply because a lot of stuff is going to eventually have to be shifted over to compute. It's that simple. Um... But it's not going to be just a case of, oh, this will be good for compute, this will be good for compute, this and this and this. Because at the end of the day, you have finite resources and you need to learn what's better. For example, there is latency involved, despite the fact that there is unified memory. So you don't have to worry so much about the copying of instruction. But even so, it takes time for the CPU to kick the job over to the GPU for the GPU to then execute the job and so on and so on. Sometimes it's just faster to do it on the CPU and then you've still got to remember there are finite resources involved here. It's not like the GPU of the PS4 is like an endless supply of performance. At the end of the day there is a fine line here. So anyway, um, as I said, there's not anything particularly technical or new here. I just figured I'd cover it because about three or four people have messaged me this. So there you go. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.